first of all thank you for inviting me and uh, <clears throat> i would i would like to say thanks to international association of scientists and researchers sherlock institute of forensic science sanjit ji and uh, it's a privilege to me to share my i mean views and my analysis with my uh, with my mentors on the same stage and uh, i want to say thanks to all the cyber fraternities from the cyber crime groups and uh, from whatsapp group from different different channels the people who are connected through uh, me through these channels so the topic today is really interesting and that is completely talking about dark web forensics well pertaining to this uh, entire session i just want to say the same disclaimer which is uh, very clear about uh, the analysis the investigation and the insight which i'm going to uh, deliver over here that is completely from my level my there's nothing related with my engagement or anything which you can say well <clears throat> without wasting time let's focus on the things which is called digital digital we forensic creators uh usually love footprints digital footprints and today everything is about data and uh, it's very important to know exactly how you or any analyst or any investigator or any forensic kate or any io basically uh playing with this data and how exactly he will prove in in, in sort of evidence or in court proceeding or something so here when you connect any node like cyber crime cyber security and any cyber things so that is again a big subject to know exactly what comes under cyber so it's not like any small cases to big cases everywhere any sort of evidence criminal things or any artifact anything which can be important in in any particular so like triveni singh sir said like uh, various crimes are being initiated or happening as well so starting from financial frauds to social media related where you know stalking somebody creating a fake facebook account or you know uh, try to chat in a different different mode different different data breaches are happening or you see the ransomware cases which is a very serious a, a, a terrorism concern kind of in us or different countries as well pertaining to online phishing different different modular based attacks are there which is again uh, to know exactly what are the modus operandi generally it is it, it is it is came through or how the campaigners or threat actors or you can say criminals are engaging or enhancing the existing methodologies to trap or to lure or to attack uh, to make their you know any any sort of digital things or any any crimes basically hacking sabotaging eavesdropping and surveillance that is again uh, suppose any spyware or any spying things are happening without your knowledge or something that is again a big concern and again related to crypto things crypto mlm is again a serious thing and people just because of the awareness perspective they don't know about what kind of frauds can be done with these things and the last one is very very important that is called dark web related things and dark web deep web again it's a it's it's a buzzword kind of things the people don't know what is dark web and some people they don't know about this how generally they can work a very simple example like you see in in, in our whatsapp group recently it was some dominoes breach was happened and people are start sending their onion link dot that generally use you know through this tor browser or something so the people even they click on that link and they try to open on normal browser on chrome something it's not able to open people are saying yaar ye link chal nahi raha hai so small awareness is again there ke like this kind of urls generally where we can able to uh, open or study this is the some breaches the linkages i'm trying to mention over here is like if you see um, air india breach dominoes and academy you know up talks mobi quick anything from indian perspective and from international perspective data breach a very common and company always says that ki nahi hamara kuch nahi hua hai and we not hacked or something but here people can able to uh, search Uh, through your phone number and they can say sir this is you know your address you ordered something the pizza from so and so and it, it's a question to us about the privacy concern so again the data is everywhere so importance is about the data part talking about the critical infrastructure like sir said uh, of the domain like you know scada as you can say or any ot or anything which is critical which comes in critical domain they try to hack like ransomware gangs they know ki kin kin company ka cyber cyber insurance hai unhone unko target kar diya so it's a very very serious concern to know exactly how they are planning so uh, 
a term called like red teaming, blue teaming. I know different different teams, different different hats are there, colors are there. So the two things are very important to know. Like one is called defensive purpose, one is called offensive purpose. So here, the tactics which they are using to attack something, the tactics which they are using to prevent something, both are same. The thing is what like we should know exactly from where we have to start. So here, from the slide, is purely talking about. <clears throat> any sort of uh, crime which is happening, they are using these, these sectors and they try to leak some information from defense, telecommunication, education sector, and you know, from any domain. But the question here is what is dark web and exactly from where they can start. So it's a very simple screen and it simplify everything like uh, surface web, dark web, deep web, something and index part that is surface web, non-index part, deep web, and again, you know, use some different tactics or tools, something to know this information. This a fear factor banta hai, yaar, kuch bhi hota hai ki they are saying yaar, dark web mein leak hai. They don't know exactly how hacked, who hacked, who posted something, and how generally we can validate those information generally, which is which is leaked on these domain. Dark web, dark net. Deep web, deep net, these kind of terms generally they use. So surface web, like normally we are using Chrome browser or any Safari, Mozilla or something that is simple. We can access through internet. It's not a big deal to explain these or entire picture. The thing is what the, the yellow part, the bottom part here, we're talking about the dark web. That is a hidden part. And exactly how we have to access those things, how we can find those information. That is a big question. In simple language, you can say, it is a basically those are linked with those. So in, in, in same thing, when you talk about internet perspective, again, the same things are some, some, some URL, which is like a specific URL link, which can be accessed by only who have that link intended user, a group of team, basically a group of cartel, you can say. So this is one pertaining to the, you know, the content basically, which is available under dark web or these things are as per the, some, some, some status tech Republic or some well steam, these kind of. Uh, strategic intelligence or dark web intelligence firms like they are claiming that the percentage around, um, amount of data like from file sharing to leak data to financial news media promotion everything so these are available on dark web the question comes here uh, again in mind like do we should we go or we have to go uh, we should we go or operate from dark web or or illegal hai, illegal hai, crime hai, kya nahi? And that is again a big question so it's nothing like that simple previously perspective aap kuch bhi use karo. that is one thing but doing a violation or doing you know illegal stuff something from again it's a crime it doesn't mean either it's a dark web it's a normal web now pertaining to some tools which has been used if tool ki baat ki jati hai to pehle forensics mein generally we are focusing like what are the attack vectors attack medium generally it has been used so it's a, it's a theoretical term like everybody know nowadays and they just google about or they just youtube something ki how to access dark web and you will have plenty of hindi english you know even in regional language kind of tutorials on internet to tell what is what what is what and they can able to access those things but the question over here is understanding these tactics like uh, what are those platform generally which are used on this uh, through this from mobile they can able to use you know different, different softwares available applications are available from there they can able to access those things tor freenet zero net i2p these are the some platforms like uh, to run any specific thing you should need some medium to communicate something and the the, the tool they are using like uh, again the crypto part they are using to maintain the anonymity that is again a big Concern and as from various news or from various study model, you will get to know exactly everything is available from the thing. But what, where are they trustable? These are the big questions. So it's simply like a China market. Even you purchase something, you don't have assured that it will go or not. Similarly, over there, when you try to book something, when you purchase something, when somebody is doing something, is authentic source or not? Even from purchasing a data or any 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 breach data or something like that. So this was about some fundamental pertaining to the dark web, like the people who don't know and how generally it, it create, a, you know, okay, then you know, market may both, but type of create card in how I type it, people searching what is dark web and they try to find information even snapshots are from taken from last year. And that is talking about some leaked on like COVID vaccine job release the job. I have been it. Or these things are available on these web last year and this year as well so these firms are there they are trying to uh, provide information like uh, which particular work forums are there and uh, uh, the person who trying to sell something is a legit user or he is like a mediator 
or it's like a part of that ecosystem ecosystem like a, a, a senior is there it's like a gang it's like a chain and set of team is there who operating in this particular so now coming to the main thing that's called investigation forensic angle keep thing in mind like when i'm talking about investigation that is like attribution connecting notes from the forensics evidence so uh, take a simple example like when you, when when you get a chance or when people who are into forensic domain they are trying to <clears throat> go for some raid or some real time forensics they try to connect or collect those information which which makes in you know, order of volatility like jo pehle ja sakta fragile ho sakta try to collect those information so that is this information so one is called like before and the second is called like post i mean after that one so here uh, webint generally uh, again this again one word came web and web intelligence like uh, you need to know exactly the subject what happened and what leak what data what kind of concern what medium it has been used they have a set of expert team team in the sense like it's not like a person who is very techy he know self scripting and exploit writing something he no sometimes is required to know the you know to to know the pattern something to know the you know history something generally that that's what we are using you know Uh, that is called what you, to 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 mature the machine learning use cases so similarly over here when you know the people who are who are playing since long time and he have experience about in 30 40 years experience the campaigners or threat intel or uh, you know any attacker generally what kind of tactics they are using so that thing is also important as per today's scenario like ab naya kuch chal raha hai to wo Uh, the person who is very old he may not able to catch or grasp those things so that thing is required to know what is exactly happening up koi naya chal raha hai docker based uh, crypto mining so maybe he not uh, able to understand that tactics so we should know ki the gap or the thing which we need to maintain so expert team is there ttps aware ttps are very clear like uh, simple example uh, suppose i do have a ios uh, latest iphone and uh, for me it's a iphone and it's the latest iphone 14 point something or 13 point something and if you ask from some forensic forensic investigator analyst or any person who may know about something about forensics and if you'll say yaar mujhe ios ka data retrieve karna hai forensically so they think yes you fed hai that is that is the 99% answer you will get but exactly when you see the 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 basic part like does that tool either it's ufed oxygen msab xry xyz not promoting the tool over here just telling the some top vendors over here so when they try to treat that that evidence or that physical ios or something to some tool are they able to do a full physical imaging are they support full something so that's a big question again so the the, the success ratio is zero zero this is a, this is a fact so there we should use some manual or human approach human approach basically and the last one is called profile, profile syndicate syndicate is like cartel a group of campaigns something like kal barso kuch leak hua and that thing is leaked by some hacker he recently came to some domain means he was not active since long time but recently he came so the confidence level is you know wo shak pe jata hai ki it's very low because he may be a, a faker or he may be some law enforcement he may be he, he could be from anywhere now talking about some stamped uh, forums like you see remember if you think if anybody think like from the ip part from the website part they can able to do rocket science forget about these things we always need multiple uh, evidences we always need multiple linkages to at, to establish the connection with the perpetrator that is a very big challenge in this domain pertaining to dark web or any cloud related something or any transnational kind of data which is you know happening over so here uh, when you talk about this alpha bay hansa dream market silk road something so uh, from the collaboration collaborative effort from different different international agencies it's not like you know one india is only playing something no it's like a multiple treaties there multiple uh, op- multiple set of team from forensics from uh, from from investigation from from legal so set of team is there multiple data is there accordingly they will study then they will to find this information like this silk road again uh, this so last three line is talking about the mistakes which has been done from these uh, uh, you can say professionals or these criminals basically so this is what using google they are using cannabis forum i mean they are using you know his real name so sometimes these linkages so this is a important thing like where exactly you have to find any 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 something which can create a link so that is one area so there some case some two three cases from india perspective this is last year case and again 
uh, it was from Bangalore based case and that is again rated with some dark web and Bitcoin something. And that is today's case. Basically, you can see and NCB busted one international drug trafficking and that was operating through dark web. Again, this is a today's case. Even you can see. So here I just want to put some attention like how they got to know. It's, it's not like one day or two day operation. To finding something, to create something, to understand something, they should know exactly what is happening, what are the linkages, what website they are using. So you see they are maintaining different website. They are trying to use, you know, uh, tacky things. They, are, uh, they, they try to uh, use some VIP perspective. They are using anything. So again, from some linkages, from the cryptocurrency transaction, something from the exchange information, something, how these are operating from India. If, this, if company is registered somewhere, if everything is not in India, but again, why transaction is linking with this particular. So again, so this is like, we have to find our any forensics perspective, like how generally we can initiate. So now come to the forensics analysis part. When you see, I told earlier, like when you do a rate search or seizure something means like simple, the SOP is simple, like real, uh, real scenario generally, what do you do? What exactly you need to collect? That is one area. And second is called post analysis, like the data which we seized or uh, collect from the client place or from the, from, the, from the incident place, from the dead part. That means like post analysis, like the collected data, archive data, basically. So here, some, some pointers, like when you see, uh, the, the main thing which is missing over here is like the chain of custody properly uh, to maintain the chain of custody. That is again a big concern. They should follow some SOPs which is available on internet or from, from in industry perspective, from the agency's perspective, if they have something. They should maintain a search and collect all the digital evidence. They should know exactly what kind of devices are coming. You know, it's not like only laptop is there. They may, they may use some portable Raspberry Pi or some devices which may connect as a portable to run as an OS, maybe a pen drive is there, which makes a live OS. So that is one concern. So from laptop, you need to check if uh, that pen drive has been connected to that USB to create bootable. So some, some information maybe we'll get. So it's like a collection analysis, verification from various manner, jo ek hacker ya ek user, not hacker, a smart person you can say, jo use kar sakta. Third is like, you just use right blockers and portable utilities which create less footprints as well. Uh, portable, it can run when click, it can run some. It's not like to install on the machine to, you know, create more more artifact to to the, you know, incidents, handlers, key, or key. It's ready with some search of keywords. Keywords always help. Sometimes, you know, it's not a, you know, must time to take information. So keyword is very, very important. Jesse, um, it could be from local, regional language as well. They may use some word. So spelling could be different. Maybe uh, they want to search Savita. So I say V-I-T-A. Savita, normally we are using in North Indians, Savita. But when you use same keyword, Savita, they're using T-H-A, Savita. So sometimes the case sensitive things also work. So you should, we should be very uh, clear or focused with the keyword generally, which we're going to use in a in a real time manner to search something like when you use a win hex or something to search what exactly keyword may be pertaining on the storages. Ram dump trial, this is again the same thing. Creating a hash, that is again a big question. Often, uh, hash is very, very important. Try to create MD5 or SHA1, both at the same time, if, if it is there. Again, seize those things and try to send forensics lab. That is again the question, like which FSL you want to send. And if required, you maintain the, you know, uh, 1665 be that certificate that is again mandate to that depends on case to case but to maintain compliance that is important maybe you won't get chance to go that place or something fifth is like fifth is again the post part like investigation and attribution now here we the youngsters the the new players the generation they can give good information like sir is website be email sakta hai, is pay trail kar sakta hai. so these are information uh, financial audit trail, if you got any something, linkages of any financial something, uh, initiating legal requisition to different countries, if it is MLA or LR something, so that is subject of the concern. And last is called web intro, this OSINT part, tradental part and reporting part. So this is a, some basic fundamental. And when you talk about the forensics footprint, so it's again a clear with the technical part. Uh, preliminary things, email part, remember, uh, fake blockchain, no, no problem. Fake IP, no problem. But again, they use some information beyond that. Maybe to run that exchange or to run that uh, initiation, maybe that thing registered with some user. And that, that user may register with some email. That email link up with some exchange. So again, it's a trail. Some data may be deleted by user. Check the deleted data as a, 
prime concern you check the re real running application on the website as well on the machine what kind of uh, maybe anti forensics things maybe he is using he may try to connect remotely to to clear every uh, to cover or clear everything or any relevant artifact pertaining to something the satta hai satta is a satta ke perspective pe we have to think again ram memory page file there is a separate thing that is again sometime it may help ab system hi humne band kar diya to there is no ram memory so again you have to check about the page file or hyper file depends on operating system windows tries is again a big subject tries 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 it can give primary information about who is the user what exactly he has done recent check the registries if any entry is pertaining to all the you know the, the related softwares which he is mentioning jaise ab ye railway booking tatkal booking ka to check all the add ons all the uh, third party um, windows application maybe he installed on the machine that thing prefetch file spelling is wrong here prefetch is there uh, most recent users activities that is again a big concern recently what he has done time frame is very very important time frame is very very important because time if you don't know maybe that thing is happened last month 15th and you are checking something about recent 15 so it's again a big question and then come to third fourth line that is talking about tor what kind of location what what basic thing you can able to extract that is i will show in next slide but again remember this is again a browser they should use some sort of database it's a, it's a sqlite database or it's a, any you know db something but again it keep some information some substantial information that maybe you can prove those things and try to extract crypto footprints if it is a crypto related something if a hardware wallet is something check if any sort of keys he you know use in that so that is some checklist or some pointers where we have to focus and try to collect all the credentials from the perspective if you will get and phase 2 is like post analysis means it's not like we send something to fsl and then we keep silent we depend on fsl part like they will do their homework what they will do if you don't give a proper questionnaire to them if you don't give a proper checklist to them to find the this this on this time frame this nothing mean they will do they miss like we simply and we try to collect Uh, run that hard drive or that uh, storage or that e zero one what sample on any parser like belka soft or magnet or nk or ftk whatever and we'll give the the report but when you do a human perspective or something like that that is one thing and the last is like phase three is like the cooperation perspective from international like we should have these things that is a separate part now this is a simple uh, uh, which which I was talking about the the tor file tor rc file which contain some some artifact which is talking about at what time it was installed is talking like this particular date the first line and last time when i executed this is this is this information we have taken from this to prove yes this particular browser or something i'm talking about this tor part not the i2p another thing so this thing has been used that is one similarly we try to find that sqlite simply like mozilla perspective here we also try to find something this database and we try to explore on some free sqlite browser any on any utility and we will get this information that is again one concern talking about registry part registry sometime remember sometime they try to delete or remove or do something so check from ft headers or something or uh, you'll get to know maybe some footprints or some artifact to link up with that tor browser or some portable browser something like that now coming to human again the question here forensics part and analysis part forensics analysis so here first point the mistakes we are generally they do these criminals or sometimes maybe we'll get some information like check the ssl part some information maybe you will get to know in from ssl this that certificate part check some search some hidden shodan shodan or some census or this kind of um, websites which can give some information maybe that certificate link up ki that particular link, so ssl may be used in some different campaign Uh, using the IP addresses again, uh, tracking the IP only from Tor. It's a very tedious, difficult task. I'm not saying no. It's, it's not. It 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 take time basically to find this information. Check the website listing part. Maybe we'll get some information if you have some onion link or something. You check the mod status or something. You check the source code of that source code. Sometimes gives information because these hackers generally they use the campaigner generally they use copy paste content something. So they use some dot this kind of pages as well. I'll show in next slide. signatures also there uh, sometime badly configured services also give a good information like you try to link up some different location it give some error like some error is there it give a footprint of key maybe behind they are using this kind of vps or this services or this particular api or something and the last is 
the main thing is called metadata analysis metadata analysis give good information for the same thing here these are some well known things nothing to nothing big concern over here maybe sometime you will get those information from here as well kilos ami and all several uh, list over available over there and this is about the web page analysis where we talk about maybe some int maybe he left or he from will get from some source code of the file maybe some uh, information on the that template so this is also sometime helpful to track reverse track that person maybe he using this kind of platform so now again uh, subject is uh, uh, very clear about the linkages so sometime when you see uh, from a uh, non lea perspective like analyst perspective or ocenter perspective you may have some ips you may have some link up but to verify those images to verify those link up verify those ips pertaining to which particular user again what required it required information through some legal authorities or some sort of things so first ocean part or web in part or social media intelligence part or from web in part from sensors from threat intel tool from dark web analytics tool from anything scrapping or from anything we'll get this information through authorities it's like a treaty sometime we have to initiate from you know international nodals they have to provide some information from international perspective like this ip belongs to this proxy case may it's a big challenge like sometime we won't get company claim that it's a no lock policy so no lock policy why no lock policy it's, it's for saying but again it comes to some big authorities or some national security perspective kind of cases usually they will get those things and forensics is again crypto ke case mein maximum jo hame uh, plus point milta hai ya hame lead milti hai forensics se hi milti hai because if you see only the blockchain address or some ledger public thing you won't get more information but linkages is again a big concern ek image hai index perspective that is a good reverse image uh, is tiny i there are in with several add ons are there but sometime you have to reverse check with different thing to create a adversaries trending things are there again i won't jump with the trending part because it will take again a long time to study so if you know the latest trend if you know the various modus operandi tactics generally what they are using then only you can able to counter agar apne website hi kabhi hack nahi ki and try to track a hacker forget wo cheeze bahut hi mushkil hai because you don't know exactly what kind of pattern he may use to get into reki karne ke liye usne kya softwares kya uh, privilege escalation perspective utilities he have used that is a big concern so this is a some pointers which is trending part and that is again some keyword trend data breach drug dark web porn ransomware so these are some keywords from last 90 days which is talking about what people they are searching so this is about google trend so do you think we have to always depend on google kya log bing ya dug dug go ya koi aisa so they also use those things so it's not like only google part or something try to collect information from different friends search engines to know the query part and the last that is called r3 generally which i am using that is called reconnaissance record research enforcement maybe uh, if you not working with any authority or something so you won't get chance to get good information so focus study depends on various tool not one tool one tool maybe give some information but you have to verify from multiple tool to know exactly what we can do like crawlers are there sensors are there how this dark web or how this collection of entities work basically these are these uh information maybe one tool can give some information second tool, tool can give more information pertaining to the subject tags records are there means you should keep archive maybe silk road wala pehla ye ips thi usne isle of man ke server pe host kiya tha second time they use digital ocean third time they use some access then on fourth time again they use the previous ip which was used in isle of man first time so that is one linkages so establish the linkages that is a big concern to know history pattern when i'm talking about uh any ransomware perspective ras that is like a, a big subject this is last that is talking about the storage is generally companies or these firms they use to collect all things and immediately they get some information from the port they collect this crap they put all the raw information at a single place they ingest it they use different different parsers collect it they try to find the juicy information from any campaign and they then they disseminate or find something from the forensics part so this was from my side i hope uh, some uh, some 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 portion i try to cover from this particular uh, this scenario i hope uh, somehow you'll get to know exactly how forensic cators or investigator or analyst uh, do attribution and connecting the nodes from small area it's, i'm telling last and very clear it's not like use one tool which give a complete solution of dark web and you use that tool and you just think ye tool sab de dega and again ye tool 
क्या देगा यू यू जस्ट थिंक सो मैनुअल हंटिंग जस्ट ह्यूमेंट और ह्यूमेंट अप्रोच और मैनुअल एनालिसिस इज ऑलवेज रिक्वायर्ड विद द फंडामेंटल फंडामेंटल ली स्ट्रांग पर्सपेक्टिव विद द स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड टूल्स दैट शुड बी यूज्ड इन कोड बेसिकली सो दिस वाज फ्रॉम माय साइड दीस आर सम इंफॉर्मेशन यू मे चेक फ्रॉम दिस यू मे फॉलो टू गेट मोर इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर एनी क्वेरी डेफिनेटली यू मे आस्क